Hey, this is Justin Miller from Wowza Media Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to send an RTMP stream to Wowza Streaming Cloud. And we're going to be doing this using OBS Studio, which I'm in right now. But uh, let's jump on over to a Wowza Streaming Cloud account. And from here, I'm going to create this new stream by going to Live Streams and choosing to add a live stream. Now, I'm going to call this live stream Denver Life, and I'm going to choose to use US West since that's the closest area to my broadcast as the place I'm going to be streaming from. I'll click next and as well this is an RTMP stream so I'm going to choose from my encoder other RTMP. Now the rest of these settings I'm not going to worry about I'm going to leave them as default. You can always go back and change many of them in the future but for right now I'm just going to finish up and create this stream and here we have our source connection information. Now I'm going to take this source connection information starting with the primary server and I'm going to bring this over to OBS under settings by going to stream and under stream I'm going to use the stream type custom streaming server there's my URL going to paste that in I also got to add a stream key that's my stream name paste that in use authentication I'm gonna grab the source username and I'm also going to grab the source password oh, almost didn't grab it there one thing you should know sometimes copying this stuff over is not perfect sometimes it adds a bracket or something in there that's hidden uh, so just to be safe I just like to delete the ends and add the word back again just to make sure that those brackets haven't been added in. Now a few other settings that we may want to change. I'm actually going to go back to settings and I'm going to change my video to be 720p because I'm going to be using my webcam and that webcam is 720p. Uh, for those of you who have not used OBS before just click on the plus down here under sources and you can add your video capture device creating a new one and then choosing your device. Like I said, I'm just using the webcam and here I am. Hi, how's it going everybody? All right, because I have this green screen behind me, I'm also gonna go and right click on video capture device and add a filter, an effects filter specifically for chroma key. All right, there we go. I'm not gonna worry about any of these settings right now. Uh, what I am gonna do though is I'm gonna click plus again and I am going to add an image for my background. So I'll click OK. Choose image file. Just going to use something from Unsplash since that is not copyrighted. Click OK and I am invisible. I am behind this cement wall but that's okay because under sources I'll just move this image behind video capture device and there I am again. Hey how's it going? It's working. All right so now I'm ready to go broadcast to the world. I'm going to jump back over to Wilder Streaming Cloud and I'm going to start my live stream. Now once you start it you will begin occurring charges depending on your subscription so something to keep in mind. I'm going to start this up. Uh, it takes about five seconds for this to start but once it is started you are good to go so as you can see it's making the request right now. It is preparing and it's ready. All right. So now that we're ready to go, I am going to go and jump back over to OBS. And I should be ready to start my stream right here. Just start streaming. So I'll click start streaming. As you can see, it's connected. I am showing how long I've been live down here at the bottom. Uh, CPU usage, etc. If I tab back over to Wowza Streaming Cloud, I can see that here's a thumbnail. Uh, it refreshes every five seconds, letting you know I'm up and running. I have health monitoring right here uh, with quite a number of statistics, letting me know what's going on. And if I want to see this live on the hosted page, I can just click open here for hosted page URL and I can play and you streaming. will see me. As you can All see, right. It's connected. Whoa, I better turn my volume off. Now, you notice that there is a bit of a latency. That's because what you're seeing is HLS because we're repackaging that RTMP stream into HLS for this right here. 
Also, if I wanted to, I could go and say playback on my phone by using the uh, playback URL here. Or I could just add myself using the player embed code to, well, uh, a site um, or, you know, other places I want to be on. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that's it for me. I'm Justin Miller from Wowza Media Systems, and you all have a great day.